Hey you YouTube, uh, Dragon Dose Girl. I've been getting a lot of requests, and um, I just want to confirm. Yes, it was me at Orlando Regionals at Top Four with Dragons. Uh, this is my mat, and this is my 5D binder. So, thanks to everyone who's asking, and for those who want to know, I'll let you know in this video my matchups and the exact build I was running. So we'll take a look down here and start talking about the build. Um, if you guys have any questions or whatever, just let me know. Um, I usually explain my decks in my other videos. I'm trying to make this one go fast. So what we have here is triple darkness metal, triple wyvern, triple lad, triple mast, triple totem, one uh, prime, one exploder, one drag. That's my monster lineup. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Not a lot of synchroing in this deck. Very minimal. The dragons work well on their own without synchros. And honestly, in a format with triple book, you know, synchroing isn't that great. Um, for dragons specifically, because we don't have good tutors. Triple book, um, double Sarko, double MST, one reborn, one future, one true name, one dark hole, and one burial. That's my spell lineup. And then we have traps, double warning. Really amazing. Double bottomless, double deprison, single copy judgment, seven tools, mirror force, and torrential. Then we have the synchro pile, one five headed, double scrap dragon, double stardust, one ancient fairy, one black rose, one trident dragon, one red dragon archfiend, one exploder dragon wing, one iron chain for a quick going into a dragon if you want to resynchro without having to disrupt totems. Armory Arm, Gar Goyo Guardian, um, Ally of Justice Contaster, and Brian Ack. And we have the side, which is extremely essential in this deck and was the reason for why I talk. Triple Rivalry, the Warlords, of course, um, against those uh, Dandy Warrior decks and stuff. This shuts down like 99% of the stuff that's out there uh, in this meta. Triple Kakimera Drago. Terrible main deck this format, honestly. Uh, this format, nothing's much light and dark base. The only thing that's tensions in Dandy Warrior is formula. That's pretty much it, so... This was a great sideboard only, and it's a dead draw main deck, so... Um, I sided this against the Chaos decks that I uh, faced. Double Swallow Flip for any of those potential GBs, which I did have a GB matchup, and this completely destroyed all the stuff they were doing. Um, one Gotham's, I did not run into Sabres, but they were present at the regional, so I just covered that. One Crevice for those Frog Narcs, I know the Genix controller builds are popping up out there. Uh, triple Dust for those GK matchups, and Double Starlight for those GB and Blackwing matchups. Alright, now talk, time to talk about my matchups. Alright, well, um, this regional was really interesting. Um, there wasn't ever a single same matchup for anything. Um, my round one, I went against Zombie Synchro. Um, the guy was really nice. Uh, I don't think he really knew what he was... He was really unsure of himself when he was making his plays. He was, like, playing Trunade, and I thought he was going for, like, a huge OTA, and I freak out when he Trunade or Cold Wave. And then he just, you know, very do very minimal and not do anything at all afterwards. So I beat him. I 2 would him. Uh, then we moved on to Chaos, which um, I'm assuming it was Chaos. I mean, there was a lot of stuff going on in the build. It was really creative, but I'm assuming he played Chaos Sorcerer. There was a lot of light and dark based things. Um, I 2 would him. Then we go on Dandy Warrior. And this was round three. I was at table one. And this was the only match I lost because we went to game three. He sided in Black Garden against me and stalled me out game three. I saw the morning early game and it cost me the duel because the duel finished me at 6,000, him at 8,000. Nothing was going on. He was playing extremely defensively. And uh, I had like I had a swarm coming on with a future fusion next turn after time was called. It was a it was pretty great to get stalled out like that, but I learned my lesson from this not to, to, to make sure I watch the clock and not let people stall me out anymore after that. So, it was alright though. He was misplaying quite often, and like I'd call him out on it, and then he'd be like, oh shit, you're right. But he was a great guy to duel against, so. Then I went against GBs, and um, <laughs> this guy swarmed his field at one point with like his, his uh, Darius's and everything, and I dark hold him, and then after that, he had no targets for Prisma and Test Tiger in his hand next turn, so that really sucked for him, and that's how he lost game. Uh, uh, that was 2-1. Uh, then we move on 
to Frognarks, and um, this guy brought out Vanity Spin against me one duel, and like tried to bring back Treeborn, and I was like, no. So he kind of sat on the field with Vanity Spin, ended up hurting him more because it stopped him from doing most of his plays. But I guess he thought it was hurting me. I book wound it and just uh, started swarming when I was ready. Uh, he was a really cool guy, nice deck, uh, standard Frognark. And then, then I went on to Black Wings, and um, I don't know. He was he was playing really impulsively. Um, it was kind of funny because I would like activate Red Eyes Effect, bring back Prime Material, and then he'd activate Torrential, and I'd have a full hand, so I'd negate, and then he'd be like, "What? What does that do?" And then pick up my cards. So it kind of sucked for him. I guess he didn't know the effects, and that's the nice thing about dragons. They tend to throw people off because it's not a standard, uh, you know, not very standard cards that people see often. Apparently not at that regional at least. But um, two owed him. Um, then dragons versus gravekeepers, and this was actually a guy at my locals, Andrew Ferdella. Um, I two owed him. Um, I had a full, full field swarm. The thing is about Drake Gravekeepers is like once you get a big gigantic beater on the field, they can't run it over because Prime Material stops them from popping with Descendant, and they don't have anything big enough to ever run over. So it's pretty good once you get a nice field setup and solo morning the right cards. So um, next, moving on, Salvo Dad. It was crazy. I got a ridiculous hand first turn, first, first duel. I got Future Fusion Trunade, and I literally dumped 10, and I drew no backfield, and he went, <laughs> he went colossal on me. <laughs> I had no answer to that, and I drew Book of Moon like three turns later, so I drew an all-monster hand with Future Fusion and um, Trunade, so it really sucked for me, but then game two and three I came back and beat him. He was a really cool guy to duel against. Um, <laughs> it was so stupid for me. Uh, then Absolute Zero was round nine. So um, the guy's name was Lavar. He was really cool. Um, it was 2-0. Um, he played really well. It honestly wasn't um, a game of misplaying. It was more like I got the better hands and he got the like you know the mediocre hands. So it, that was really a luck based two games because I just drew really well. I brought out Lad early game and stuff like that and shut down most of his plays. So um, he was a really good player, but unfortunately got the downside of the of the game. Um, then we went on to top eight, and I dueled a guy named. Um, What's his name? Sam Jones. Sam Jones. Um, and he was playing Genix controller, uh, Frognark build. Uh, he completely destroyed me game one, and I'm like, oh god, I'm in over my head. This is top eight, and I'm gonna completely fail and look stupid. Um, I signed in triple rivalry and uh, crevice and starlight road uh, against uh, those potential Mobiuses to protect the rivalry, so I can net the mo um, the the Mobius from hitting the rivalry stuff like that. And uh, the sides ended up completely shutting down the deck. So um, I won the next two games after that and got my top. So that's basically how it went. Um, it was pretty great. Everybody there was really nice. Um, not much, you know, come down players because it sucks to get paired up against really depressing people that take the game extremely seriously. But um, most of the people I got paired up against were really nice and uh, reasonable. They were fun to have conversations with afterwards. Um, any questions, let me know. Also, on eBay, check out the Zombie Master mat I'm selling. This is a, a used mat. A guy that was playing zombies um, wanted me to make it. I made it for him. Then he quit Yu-Gi-Oh! Gave it back to me. So, um, I'm basically going to sell it again. It's really nice, so go check out the link in eBay and uh, buy it if you want. Take care, YugiTube. Bye. <laughs>